Hello, Cordia Ho. Hello, my. Welcome to today's five minute maker space. We're making cog wheels today, and today we're making them out of cardboard. Let's take a closer look. So, just taking a quick look at what we're going to need, I've got this template here. I'm going to pop this on our website. Our little um, push pins here are, are, are running away, so we'll just pop them slightly to the side. And we've got something to cut with. We've got a full piece of cardboard. And to mount our cog wheels, I thought today I would use the bottom of a paper box, okay? So the first thing we need to do is we need to use our template and cut out the cog wheels. So as I say, this pattern will be on our website and I've already printed it out and cut out these two particular size cog wheels. As you'll see, these intersect, okay? And that will help us when we go to put them together. So the next thing, of course, that we need to do is that we're going to trace them onto these pieces of cardboard and cut them out. So if we quickly do that, So now we've got our three cog wheels and you'll see that they intersect and that's exactly what we want them to do. Hopefully they will still do that when we attach them to the box. So take your carton, place on the largest cog wheel and just push a push pin through the middle. Make sure that it swivels. Now the safety precaution for having it on the box is that if you turn it over there will be a very sharp push pin at the back of it and so that's why we've done this so that we haven't got that exposed. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put that together with our second cog wheel. So we're going to place that there. We're going to push that through the middle. So what we are hoping to achieve is that when we turn one wheel, that the other wheel will turn as well. So what I'm going to do here is, cause these aren't completely working just yet. So if we ask ourselves, why, that, why is that the case? We can probably see that because we haven't trimmed these appropriately, that they might not intersect 100%. So I'm just going to trim those a little, just so they're a little bit more of a rounded shape where I've got those square, those squares instead. And that's just because the cardboard is quite tough to cut. And this is where we need need our adults to help us out a little bit, don't they? So we'll just trim those corners and hopefully that will help us out a little bit. All right, let's see if we can create a little bit. It's a little bit better. It looks like I might just have to trim this one as well. So like anything, if it doesn't work for first time, there is always a reason and there's always a way of fixing it. Of course, when we introduce the third wheel, that'll be interesting to see as well. And we might make sure our corners are ready to go before we even give that a try. Just trimming that up a little bit more. Good thing too about having the push pins is easy to pull them out and put them back in again. And of course, they easily go through in a different different spot if we need them to. So let's try that again. So there we go. That is a lot better. 
and they're intersecting a lot better. It's pushing up a little bit. So we will just, again, we'll just give that a little bit of a trim. Try that again. So I think we've got that working now. There we go, that looks like it's working pretty well. So what happens now if we introduce a third wheel? So we've learned from experience that these need to be trimmed a lot better than we did in the first place. I'm going to introduce that, that third wheel and now we'll see what happens. And there we go. One thing I'd like you to note, is I'm just going to take the third one away, is we are turning this wheel clockwise. But can you see what direction the other wheel is turning? It is turning in the opposite direction. So it is turning anti-clockwise. What happens when we introduce the third wheel? What direction is that going to spin? So this is going clockwise, and this one again is going anti-clockwise. And there we have it. They are our intersecting cardboard cogwheels. So there we have it our intersecting turning cogwheels. Can you think of what examples there are in the real world of where these move? I'm sure you can think of lots of examples. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed making some cardboard cogwheels. See you next time. Ka kite.